So guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you all my recipe for a Bailey's Peanut Ponchagram. You guys are going to love this one, so stay tuned. So to make this recipe, we're going to start with the main ingredient, which is some peanut butter. And of course, you can put as much or as little as you wanted to. And if you wanted to use cashew butter or almond butter for this recipe, you can. So to that, I'm going to go in with some milk. You don't need a whole lot, you just need a little bit. I'm going to go in with two eggs, and the two eggs, it is optional. But because we're making poncha cream, we want to keep it tr traditional, but of course you can omit it. Next goes in two pieces of lime rind, and I'm going to grate in some fresh nutmeg. And I always prefer grating my own nutmeg because the freshness of that nutmeg adds much more flavor. The ones that are pre-grated have fillers in them. So I'm just going to break up the eggs. Give this a mix. Now we need this peanut butter to dissolve. Okay, next you're gonna put your mixture up on your stove and you're going to put it on a low heat and we're gonna cook this for about five to eight minutes. We want to slowly cook the eggs, hence why we're doing it on a low heat. And that way you don't have to worry that you're using raw eggs. And doing it on a low heat and bringing it up to temperature just allows you or ensures actually that the eggs don't curdle. This is just a way that I've found works best to me instead of tempering them. Okay, I can see that the mixture is getting nice and warm. What I want to do is remove the two pieces of lime peel from in there. And our peanut butter has been dissolved. If you wanted to blend this, of course you can. Now you want to allow your mixture to cool down slightly before you add in all of the other ingredients. So now that that has happened, I'm going to go in with some mixed essence or vanilla, whatever you like. And I'm going to go in with my punch and rum, or you can use a regular white rum. And of course, put as much or as little as you like. And for the star of this, we're going to go in with some Bailey's. Bailey's Irish cream. It's going to be so rich and decadent. And now we're going to give that a mix. So I'm going in with my condensed milk to taste as much as I like. You can put as much or as little as you like, or you can totally omit it if you want to keep it diabetic friendly. Remember that Bailey's would be a little bit sweet, so don't add too much of condensed milk at once, you taste and adjust. So once it's mixed in, this is now ready to be served on some ice. You can chill it in your refrigerator for up to three days. Remember, we did cook the eggs, so you don't have to worry about that. So let me pour this out and show you guys what it looks like. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this recipe for this Bailey's Peanut Punchagram. You can substitute the peanut for sea moss, you can put pumpkin, you can switch this up and put whatever flavor you would like. Make sure Try it. Let me know what you all think. It's something different from the regular puncha cream for you all to try this Christmas. It tastes absolutely amazing and I can't wait for you all to make it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!